Unlocking language. Not enough space, explained. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English learning series. Today, we're going to dive into a common English phrase. Not enough space. This might sound simple, but it's used in many different contexts. Understanding it fully can really help in daily English conversations. So, let's get started and explore this phrase together. Not enough space is a phrase used to express that there isn't sufficient room or area for something or someone. This could be physical space, like in a room, or metaphorical space, like in a schedule or a plan. It's a straightforward expression indicating a lack of adequate space for a particular purpose. Here, we'll look at various examples to see how not enough space is used in everyday language. Physical space, I can't buy a new sofa because there's not enough space in my living room. Digital space, I couldn't install the app as there was not enough space on my phone. Timer capacity, I can't take on another project, there's not enough space in my schedule. These examples show how versatile the phrase is in describing different kinds of limitations. Now, let's practice using not enough space in sentences. 1. When looking at a crowded parking lot, we can't park here, there's not enough space. 2. While organizing a meeting, we need a bigger room. There's not enough space for everyone here. 3. In context of a busy day, I'd love to meet for coffee, but there's just not enough space in my day for another appointment. These sentences will help you get comfortable with the phrase in various contexts. Be careful not to confuse, not enough space, with phrases like, no space, or limited space. While they are related, they convey slightly different meanings. Not enough space specifically means that the space available is inadequate for the intended purpose. And that's a wrap on not enough space. I hope this video helped clarify the meaning and usage of this common English phrase. Remember, practice makes perfect, so try using it in your daily conversations. Thanks for watching and see you in our next lesson for more English language tips.